All right, guys, here we go. We are going to start our adventure today. Now, I am playing on an emulator, but I do own this game. Um, I have it on the Game Boy Advance, obviously. So we will be uh, having some fun time playing. So let's see here. Obviously, just get walking us through the details. And then in the world which you are about to enter, you will embark on a ground, grand adventure with you as the hero. Speak to people and check things wherever you go. Be in towns, roads, or caves. Gather information and hints from every source. New paths will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. At times, you will be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. Through your adventure, we hope that you will interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. That is our biggest objective. Press A button and you and let your adventure begin. A button. Hey. Hey. Hello there. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. All right. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. Very interesting. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemans. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. That's cool beans, man. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Uh, I am... Uh, I am a boy. Uh, let's begin with your name. What is it? We're going to be... Um... T... Uh... R... T... Oh, we're going to be Turtle. Because it's faster. T-U-R-T-L... I mean, we totally could... Let's do the full version. I have to. You guys are going to be mad if I don't. Uh... There we go. We are turtle. I hit okay. Fine. Right. So your name is Turtle. No, it's not. I just told you that because I feel like it. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since both of you were babies. Mm, what's his name again? He is going to be... Can you guess? Can you guess? He's going to be Butcher. <laughs> Mm, was it Butcher? Yes, it was. That's right. I remember now. His name is Butcher. <laughs> Turtle, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Let's -a go. Hey, check it out. Turtle played with the NES. Okay, it's time to go. All right, fine. Hey, look, it's my mom. Hey, mom. Right, all boys leave home someday. I said so on TV. Oh, yes, Professor Rose Next Door is looking for you. Okay, so before we get started, let's go ahead and look at my trainer ID. So, again, if it's 1 through 3, it's Bulbasaur. 4 through 6 is Charmander. And 7 through 9 is Squirtle. So, let's see. And it is 9. So, that means we are picking Squirtle for our starter. All right. I have never actually started with Squirtle. It feels, it feels kind of kind of interesting. Okay, um, here. Let's go this way. Oh, there's Gary. So, I forgot, you have to go up, upward first. But we're going to talk to all the peoples we can. Hey, guy, come here. Technology is incredible. You can now store and recall items and Pokemon and data via PC. That's cool. We need to make the text fast. Uh, mono... Yeah, okay, so we're good. Okay. What are you gonna say? You gonna say things? Hmm, that's not... Is that right? Oh, look, look! Trainer tips. Press start to open the menu. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Thanks for sharing. It's very caring. Let's go this way. Oak's gonna be like, hey, get your butt back here. Hey, wait, don't go out! You stupid idiot. It's unsafe wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know, here, come with me. Alright. What you got for me, Oak? Have you got some dark oak? Hello. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. But you let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you, come, just wait. 
here, Turtle. There are three Pokemon here. Ha ha. The Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer, but now I'm in my old age. I have only three left. Wow, so much for a Pokemon, Professor. You can have one. Go on, choose. I don't know why his voice keeps cracking. Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Be patient, Butcher. You can have one, too. <laughs> so that's Bulbasaur. Sorry, we don't want your weakness. No. There's my buddy. Yeah. All right, so we need to... We're going to name every single one of our Pokemon. Yes, and I'm going to name these. There needs to be a naming theme. We're going to name these after drinks. So we're going to call this guy... Um, can, can we do Nuka-Cola? <laughs> Wait, hold up. <laughs> how, do, how do we spell Nuka-Cola? Give me one sec. Let's see here. So it's... and It's just it's basically how it sells. All right, how it sounds. The Nuke... Uh... Nuka Cola, yeah, buddy. So he's a male too. Okay. Oh, he takes Bulbasaur. He's a funny guy. All right, what you got, fam? What you got, Tay? Hey, my Pokemon appears. Pokemon can battle it with your side. You should be able to. Okay, cool. Pokemon looks a lot tougher than yours. Well, fight me, butcher. Wait, turtle. Wait, turtle. No, wait. Wait, turtle. Let's check out our Pokemon. I'm trying to do different voices. Come on, I'll take you on. Bring it. All right, so let's see here. I believe I'm faster than him. For Pete's sake, so pushy as always. Turtle. You've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? A Pokemon battle is when trainers hit their Pokemon against each other. Yep. The trainer makes... The other trainers Pokemon fate by lowering their HP to zero wins. I'm gonna kill your Bulbasaur. But rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. All right, let's have some fun. Uh, tackle. All right. Inflicting damage on the foe is key to any battle. All right. Growl. Son of a nutcracker, dude. Just hit me like a man. Oh boy. No, I'm gonna go for tackle again. Oh yeah, I was looking for that critical hit. No critical, no critical, okay. Oh gosh, this is gonna be tight. One more, don't get critical please. Ah! Okay, we're good. <laughs> Hey, level six. All right. We beat Butcher. Hmm, excellent. If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon will grow. Battle other trainers and make your Pokemon strong. All right, cool beans. Okay, I'll, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Graham, smell you later. Okay, have fun. We're leaving too. So we don't get running shoes until after the first gym, so it's going to be a lot of walking around. All right. And our... So I don't... Do I have any Pokeballs yet? Okay. So I'm not going to worry. Like, if I run into a Pokemon here, I'm not going to capture it just because I don't have anything to capture with. So our encounter here will not matter if you have a problem with that. I'm sorry. But it doesn't look like we're going to run into any of them anyway. Oh, wait. We do have a chance here. And here, let's see, do we run into one? We do, so this won't matter. What would it have been? Would have been a Pidgey, cool. So I actually really want a Pidgey on my team. Because later on in the game, when we do the, there's a fighting gym, he will annihilate those fools. So we're just gonna battle this guy, get some experience. There's Pokemon that are coming up. It won't count him, unfortunately. Which would have been, which would have been pretty cool. Since he was level three, but oh well. All right. 
Made it to Brilliant City. All right, cool beans. Going to the Pokemon Center. We're gonna heal up. So we're gonna need to do some training because we need to fight Butcher again. It's gonna be on our left. I think it's Route Two, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong though. Um, but I would like to go to the Poke Mart and grab some Pokeballs, and we're gonna go capture our first guy. Hey, you from Pallet Town? Oh, that's right. We gotta go back to Oak. Professor Oak, right? Or came in. Can you go take it to him? All right. We gotta deliver Oak's parcel. Cool beans. All right, let's head on back down, and then I believe Oak's gonna... Oh my gosh, my voice actually just cracked. I, I believe he's gonna give us some Pokeballs, so that's what we'll do. All right, so making our way, making our way down. Oh, here we go. This won't count either if we run into one. Here we go. We is good, fam. We can get our Pokédex here too, so it'll be fun. Oh, turtle! How is thy old Pokémon? That's great. Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokémon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Turtle delivered Oak's parcel. Ah, it's the custom Pokéball. I had it on order, thank you. Graham. I almost forgot, what did you call me for? I don't know. Oh right, I have a request for you two. On the disc here is my invention, the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Turtle and Butcher, take these with you. Okay, thanks for asking. Turtle received the Pokédex from Professor Oak. You can get detailed data on Pokémon just by seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokémon. Turtle received five Pokéballs. Turtle put the Pokéballs in the Pokéballs pocket. When a wild Pokémon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokéball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can't escape. You have to be lucky to make a complete guide to all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps. Leave it all to me. Turtle, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Turtle. Ha 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 ha! Don't bother coming around to my place after this. Well, you know what? What do we do with this Charmander? Hmm. It'd be cool to get that. I don't know if you actually can. You might be able to. So Gary lives up here to the right. We're gonna go ahead and inside. Hey, look! You don't have... Wait, what? Grandpa asked to run an errand? Gee, that's lazy. Here, I'll help you. Turtle received a town map from Daisy. Perfect. Turtle put the town map in the key item's pocket. Perfect. Thank you for that. Do you not have an upstairs? Wow. Where do you guys sleep? It shows you have an upstairs. You are a liar. I'm going to go talk to my mom. Tell her I'm leaving on a... Po I'm going on an adventure, just like Bilbo Baggins. Just take a quick rest. Oh, thanks, Mom. I always love quick rests. Oh, good. You and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. Okay. So, now we're going to go capture our first Pokemon. And I believe we have the option of catching a Rattata, which I really don't want, and a Pidgey. So let's see here who we catch. All right, here we go. Our counter for Route One is Rattata. Son of a Nutcracker, dude. Okay, so we gotta capture this thing. Oh, geez, we missed. All right. Ooh, whoo! I thought we killed it. It's like that. Eh, there goes our encounter. So if we actually kill the thing, oh, that's that. That's it. That's it. We're done. All right, here we go. All right. So what are we gonna name Ratatata? 
She is a female. All right. Its fangs are long and very sharp. They grow continuously, so it gnaws on hard things to whittle them down. Hmm. Give a nickname to Ratatata? Yeah. So, purple drinks. But they're not gonna... I think our best option, like, because I would want to call it grape soda, but when it evolves into Raticate, it'll be kind of weird. We're gonna call it Sprite. Ooh, voice crack. Sorry about that. Sprite! That's your name. Alright, that's our encounter. So cool, we don't have to worry about that anymore. We can battle all these guys. I really wish we would have got a Pidgey, though. The cool thing is, on the other route we're gonna go to, we do have a chance of capturing a Mankey, so that'll be awesome. So I'm gonna see about getting up to, what is it, level 8, I think I wanna be at. So we need to do a little bit of training out here on Route 1 won't be too hard because once we uh, once we get through this part we should be okay I just realized so you get the experience share after um, I believe it's 50 Pokemon caught and I don't know if there are 50 routes I don't know if we can even catch them oh Pidgey Look at all these bubbles. They're so pretty. Hey, don't tackle me. Have some more bubbles. Right. <laughs> oh boy, do not kill me, please. That would be so bad. Okay, we got it. Oh my gosh, I just thought about I keep forgetting this is a Nuzlocke. If this guy faints, he's gone. <clears throat> oh my gosh. That is that is terrifying to think about. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Jeez Louise. This adds a whole new level of intensity to it. Ugh. So if you guys remember on my last attempt at this, and that like pre-recording little video thing where I basically just tested to see how much you guys liked it, and uh, a few of you liked it, a few of you didn't, but it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna do it this way. I think it'll be more entertaining for people who don't enjoy Pokemon. But uh, yeah, we died to Gary like three times in, the, in this other battle. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move this up there by hitting select, so that way I can just spam it. Now we should just annihilate this guy. And so the cool thing is, because we have Squirtle, our first gym will be a breeze. Trying to go through there with Charmander is so tough because he's a fire type, and the first gym is Brock, he's a ground type guy. And it is so tough. I should probably go pick up some potions just in case, because I really like don't want my Squirtle to die. Because that would make the first gym stupid hard. We'd have to resort to a Caterpie in the next in the forest coming up. Let's go ahead and buy like a few potions here. I'll buy five of them. And then we'll buy a few more Pokeballs, we'll buy five more. I know we'll actually buy one more. So now we have a total of 10 because we used one on Ratatata. Oh, no, 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 I don't want any more. Okay. All right, so let's see here. We're gonna keep training up. And getting Ratatata in there is going to be tough. Now I'm taking a lot of inspiration from this from Maryland's Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. Just because I enjoyed that series so much I wanted to do it myself. So you, like, it'll be fun. Trust me, it'll be great. It'll be great. Alright. Oh boy, Tail Whip. Ooh, yes, we lowered his speed. Perfect. Alright, double low defense. I'm not a fan of this. We're down by two. 
And just so you guys know, I'm going to end this series. If I lose all six Pokemon in one battle, that's it. Series is done. We'll have to do a different game. So that's just so you guys know. All right. So we're hitting 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and capture a Pokemon on Route 2, I believe it is. And then we will go on from there. What level was Rattata? Oh, we need to check the nature of it. Okay, let's check the Eevees and nature, both of them. I totally forgot to even do this. Okay, so Squirtle, modest nature. Let me pull up the natures here. Give me one sec. Okay, so we have a modest in nature, um, which means our special attack is increased and our attack, normal attack is decreased. That's why we're not hitting very hard. That makes sense. That's why Bubble will probably hit really hard. Um, let's see. Got some pretty good defense. It's a really good special defense. Our attack is pretty low and our special attack is okay. HP is pretty good. Ability toward ups, water moves in a pinch. Okay, so let's look at Ratatata. So, we have a calm nature. And our special defense is increased, and our attack is decreased. So, none of these guys hit very hard. <laughs> That's fun. And let's see. Speed is good, and... Everything else is okay. HP is actually not half bad for the level. We only need 19 experience to level up to three. So what we're gonna do is we are going to, I believe there's one trainer on this route that we need to fight. I could be wrong, but I think there's one. So let's see here, route 22. Okay, so we haven't caught any one here yet. So let's see, who is our encounter? Our encounter for Route 22 is Ratatata. Okay, we already have a Ratatata. So we're going to run away. All right. And a man key. Okay, so this is our encounter. So let's see here, what can we do? Man key is fighting. Tackle it just to be safe. Yeah, so one more tackle. Should be good. Don't critical it, please. Good job. Good job, Nuka Cola. All right. Perfect. We caught a man key. All right. There's still plenty of roots where we can catch Pidgey. Pidgey's definitely someone I want on my team. Light and agile in its feet and ferocious in temperament. When angered, it flees into an uncontrollable frenzy. Hmm. It's a foot tall, but it's 61 pounds. Now, I do have a name already picked out for this guy. He's going to be... I think this, I think this name fits so perfect. Fruit Punch. I really hope I spelled this right. When it comes to spelling, can we... Uh, okay, so I bet if we were to just do it like this, we'd be able to. Fruit Punch. I just want to make sure. I, don't, I feel like an idiot sometimes. Yeah, okay, we did spell it right. I'm not an idiot. So Fruit Punch is our new guy. Perfect. And he is level three. Hmm, let's go heal him up. We need to do quite a bit of training. Let me move my mouse off the, the screen. This is on the computer, if you guys don't know. It's a, it's a completely vanilla game, I promise. No cheats or anything like that. We won't ever play with him. So, all right, we did catch our Mankey. We've got, we got three Pokemon in total this episode, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, we are going to go ahead and wrap up the episode for today, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, I will see you in the very next episode. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.